Hey, what's up guys? ALJB yes. Gaming here, and I want to talk about a very, very simple concept today. Um, this is a very, very basic fundamental, As uh, and it's called last hitting. Your top and what that is means is, is that you get the final blowing kill from your character to the creep, and what that does is it gives you gold. Your so if you kill the creep, attack. if you're the one that kills the creep, you get the gold. Like so. Gold Boom. So I got the last hit on that, I get the gold. If I let the tower kill it, I get nothing from that but the experience if I'm in range. But if I can take that last hit, I get the gold. Okay. So it's pretty simple. Um, it's pretty fundamental fundamental to the entire purpose of this game. Uh, this is how oh, this is how you farm. Um, you can farm these melee creeps in, in the creeps that come up the lanes, or you can find the neutral creep neutral creeps in the camp here. The camps here. I'll show you one up here. Avowedly. And if you get the last hits on these guys, you'll get gold as well. Okay. So that's what last hitting is. It's getting the last Away hit, the final hits. killing blow on a creep to get the gold from it. And that is how you earn money in this game. I'm well and those that it. are really, really proficient in it will snowball and get ahead so much faster I'll than um, the other players in the game. And that's usually what ends up, uh, or is a giant factor in you actually winning the game. This is a very, Such very core TDM. concept. And it's something you're going to want to practice over and over and over until you get good at it. This bores me. And I get a last hit here. Gold so I got the gold for that. I did not get the gold for that one because I missed that. Okay, so how... There's a couple ways you can last hit. Um, one of the ways is you just have, do like I've been doing. You just wait till it's low and then simply click on it at the right time. And if you so get it, you get the sad. gold. And um, that's pretty simple, but different heroes have different attack animations, so there's different timings so. with every single hero in the game. So what I mean by attack animation. So you can see when I click on a creep, the hero invoker attacks pretty quickly. And it's yes. it feels pretty connected. I feel pretty in control. I feel like um, it's pretty easy to time out when I should be clicking to get the last hit. Some heroes have bad attack animations, and some heroes have good ones. Um, Invoker generally has a pretty, pretty great attack Ill animation. Upon you. And you're going to have to take that into uh, consideration when practicing this. Um, if you're good with one hero, it doesn't necessarily translate fully over to a different hero that has a bad animation. You have to get used to that, and that can be rather frustrating. So that can be part of your strategy in uh, picking what hero you're going to pick is its last hitting capability. Now. I showed you the one way to do it, which is clicking on the enemy unit when its health is going down at the right time. And there's one other way to do it. Um, let's go into our settings to display this. So, if we go into our settings, there is this thing called stop. Okay, remember that. And there's another thing here. Um, it's called auto attack. I don't know where that's at. Okay, auto attack. You want that to be on to be able to do this kind of last hitting that I'm going to show you. Okay. So what stop does is it stops your hero from completing its animation. So let's say I click on an enemy creep to attack it. Um, as you can see, I'm stopping it from happening by spamming the S button, the stop button. And when I let go of it, it uh, then proceeds to attack. So if you're standing next to a creep, and you sit there, hold S, and wait for the right moment, then let go. Peculiar. That is another way to last hit. Which is a little more reliable than the way of just clicking when that unit is low. But I find that yes. um, it's a little harder to set up because <clears throat> it only works on the creep that is closest As to you. Needs be. So for this one back here, I won't be able to do that on. So it's kind of situational. It's something you should uh, definitely in implement into your arsenal, but not totally rely on. So those are pretty much the two ways of last hitting that I so use, and they've said. proven to work pretty well for me. Um, they're actually okay. Let's talk about this last way. Orbs light my path. Another way is to click the ground. All right, let's get it set up here. For and uh, if you go. click A, and then left click. 
uh, your hero will attack the closest one. So instead of he hitting S, I'm just kind of um, keeping him from attacking by clicking on the ground, so keep him from attacking. Then when you click A and click, it sets him into animation to uh, pretty much auto attack. It sets him free. It sets him free to go on whatever, whatever path he would have been going on if you had not interrupted him. So that's another way to do it. That's a good way to snag last hits um, if you're running by or something. You'll kind of get a feel for it when you should use each one. It's hard to really go in depth on when you should particularly, specifically use each one. So that pretty much is last hitting. Pretty With simple speed. concept. Um, those are the three ways to do it. Just the click, and then you have the stop method, spamming the S button, well and then away. hitting A and clicking. You can also do that. So uh, there you go, guys. We'll have some more um, Dota 2 fundamental Four videos points. coming up soon. And if you like the content, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.